Well, hello there, and welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel. I'm uh, outside, outside of my cabin for a little while, and I thought I'd just take you for a little walk. That way I can share with everybody what I've been doing up here for the last few days. You can see snow. There's lots of snow on the road. And if you look down at the road, it's all snow too. But let's turn around and you can see down in the distance, there's my cabin. I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but there is smoke coming out of the, out of the, the chimney. So we're going to walk real slow down there like this. It's um, oh, middle of the afternoon and the amazing thing here is that by 4.30 it's almost dark and it's cold. So this morning, let's take, there's my Jeep, that's what I came up here on. We'll get a better picture in a minute. I just wanted you to kind of look up at the hill over there, but you can't see it because I guess the sun's in the way. We've got the sun right in our in our face. So let's go a little farther over. There you can kind of see a little bit. But this is our forest property here, and you can see the snow and the big, beautiful sky. It's just beautiful out there. And we'll go a little farther. And of course, I'm just holding this camera, so please uh, be patient. Maybe we can get down here where I can actually get a better picture of, of things. We'll circle around and look back up the hill. And of course, that's with the sun to our back. And you know, when there's so much snow, it, and there is sun, it's very bright out. Very bright indeed. I guess you can probably hear my boots in the snow underneath. Well, there's the, there's the old Jeep, and it did a good job coming up here, it sure did. But I want you to notice, see on the front tires? Those are chains, and those are there so that you don't slip in the snow or ice. And they work just beautifully. I drove up here with no trouble whatsoever. Well, let's... Take another quick look up the hill. There you go. And let's go past the Jeep with the chains on and walk down towards the... the cabin. Well, there's a lot of snow here and I think, I forget if I told you or not, because I was thinking about telling you and I don't forget if I actually told you. But, this morning, it was two degrees Fahrenheit. Two degrees Fahrenheit, which is 15 below Celsius or thereabouts. And in the cabin, I was comfortable as could be. It was just absolutely lovely. So I'm going to walk a little farther. Please be bear, bear with me. Hopefully I won't fall down. There you can look at, down at the at the cabin and that green building on the right is our is our outhouse. And I really wish that um, my family would spend more time up here. I'm I'm up here by myself today. And you can see right here where I've hiked up and down the driveway. Jake, my neighbor, it's very nice of him. You can see where he plowed out a little parking place for me. And that, that was very thoughtful of him. So I can park there and then I just carried things down to the to the to the cabin. So be patient as I go down the hill. Pause here for a minute. That's a little better, better view, and you can see the back of the outhouse again. 
there's a, kind of hard to see, but there's a white pole sticking up on the left side of the cabin, and that's the ham radio antenna, which I've used up here. And that worked really well. Since we're off the grid here, there's no phone. And so a ham radio is kind of a nice thing to have for emergency communications. A little bit farther. There's one of the birdhouses on the tree. And on that other tree, just below the sign there, is another birdhouse. But since I'm up here by myself today, I didn't, I didn't bother to put up the flag, so the flagpole was standing there kind of lonely, but it's not completely alone. I put a thermometer out there so that I could judge the temperature. And it's been out there for a while. All right, a little bit farther. Let's go over here. There you go. There you can see the doorway to the outhouse. I have to tell you, two degrees Fahrenheit, the seat of the outhouse is pretty chilly in the morning. You do your business quick and then get on with it because it's cold. And there isn't much smoke coming out now, but I can see some heat coming out, so the fire's still going, I guess. Let's walk out here. When it's this cold, I only open one door. You can kind of see the entrance. Let's walk out here where the where the um, flagpole is and see what the temperature is in the middle of the afternoon here. I'll try to get a good close look at it so you can see. All right, it looks to me like it's about 22 or maybe 24. Let's see if we can, there we go. Maybe 25, which no wind. And it's very pleasant now. It's really lovely. You can look down into the forest below the cabin and it's been pretty quiet. There aren't many critters out at this time of year. So let's kind of turn around and in the bright sun, we we'll get another look of the cabin, and there's the there's the ham radio antenna on the back of the cabin. You can kind of see it there, and that's kind of fun. And looking back up the driveway, back up towards the driveway. Be patient. Let me go a little farther. You can kind of, there we go, kind of see where the sun is right behind that one tree. And it makes it kind of hard to look up at the hills now. But the nice thing is that at this cold time of year, our cabin is bathed in sunlight. And it's warmer here than it is in some other places. Parts of the valley, I'm going to go all the way out here again. Parts of the valley at this time of year don't get any sun at all. And there's the cabin back up towards the Jeep. And look up at that big, beautiful sky. We're almost done. Be patient with me. You can sure hear my boots in the snow, can't you? I don't know if you can see it down there. There's a little sign. Let's see if we can get to it. No, nah, it's too small, but there's a sign down there. And on the sign, it says, Cougars live here. Well, I think they do, but I think they're some warmer, some, someplace warmer now. And down there below, there's a creek, but it's not running now. It's totally froze up. So let's turn around and take one last look at things, the snow, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sky, and the quiet peacefulness. All right, well, I'm gonna come over here like this, 
And then I'm going to stop talking and just maybe do a, a 360. We've seen plenty of the cabin, but it's a lot prettier to look down in the in the draw where the creek is. You know, in the summertime, sometimes there are some cows that go up and down a trail there. And finally, you come back over here, you can see some snow on the mountain across the way. It's really very, very, very pretty. Well, thank you for looking at this. I hope you have a nice day. And I have, I hope, um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at what I've been doing up here in the Okanagan Highlands at our off-the-grid cabin.